I want to do a short message. Uh, something been on my mind is, is the doctrine, beautiful doctrine of election. Um, <clears throat> there, are, there are so many verses that have to do with this, uh, with this doctrine, and and uh, it's it's really been on my mind I just want to read a few verses that lay it out and I'll end up in the first chapter of Ephesians um, 1 John for herein is love verse 10 not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. <clears throat> Go back to Second Thessalonians. But we are bound, and, and remember in this, like this right here, herein is, okay, herein is love, not that we, now you notice it's a certain people, we, and herein not that we loved God, but that he loved us, but we, second Thessalonians 2 and verse 13. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren beloved of the Lord. Brethren, that's who he's talking to, because God hath from the beginning chosen election you to what? To salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth <clears throat> and if you are to believe something you had to be made alive <clears throat> think of Paul on the road to Damascus and the Lord said to him Saul Saul it is hard for thee to kick against the pricks <clears throat> there was already a work <clears throat> that had been done. It was all, it was already there. <clears throat> he was, he was going down the road to Damascus, breathing out threatenings and slaughterings against those of that way. What, and, and, and what way was that? Those, those that were following that one <clears throat> named Jesus. <clears throat> He had letters, and, and those letters were, were weren't from the Romans. They were they were from the the uh, San, the uh, Sanhedrin, <clears throat> the high, the uh, priest. He was breathing out threatenings and slaughterings, and when you know when the Lord went went to Ananias, <clears throat> Ananias and Ananias said that Lord, this man. He has done much harm. And the Lord said, Ananias, he's a chosen vessel. Election. He's a chosen vessel. Paul, Paul didn't choose himself. <clears throat> As he was doing what he was doing, <clears throat> he was doing the work of God. That's, that's what, he had letters, not from the Romans, but from the high priest of that, uh, uh, of right then. He was doing the work of God. <clears throat> but the Lord said, Ananias, he's a chosen vessel. <clears throat> but we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, 
because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation, how? Through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth and that sanct and, and that sanctification of the spirit you go right back to john 3 and our lord made a declaration he says that which is flesh it's flesh and that hasn't changed and that which is spirit is spirit <clears throat> and the spirit moves and no man controls where or when that spirit moves to a thief on the cross <clears throat> who was shown if we could only if we could just be shown that right there <clears throat> total depravity we get our just rewards but this man here he has done nothing amiss <clears throat> and all he asked was re remember me <clears throat> another verse You know, they say, it's, it's said, <clears throat> to do good, follow the Ten Commandments. <clears throat> but yet Romans 9 completely takes the feet out from underneath of that. Verse 11, for the children being not yet born. Neither having done any good or any evil. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or any evil. Now here's where you get this. That the purpose of God The end grand purpose, I believe, in election, in the fact of appointing his people to life, chosen to display the riches of his amazing grace and his amazing mercy. And those that he has chosen and have and has been and has shown this is to sing his praises and his glory. <clears throat> you know his wisdom his wisdom it cannot err. His wisdom can not err. His knowledge, his knowledge cannot be deceived. <clears throat> his truth can never fail. It can never fail. <clears throat> his love, it tells you right here, well, it's right here. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor, 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 nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, or nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us. And who is that us? <clears throat> From the beautiful doctrine of the election <clears throat> the election of grace, those chosen in him from before the foundation of this world. It says nothing shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And then you go over here, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or any evil, that the purpose of God according to election might stand, not 
of works, but of him that calleth. That's Romans 9 and verse 11. And it says, nothing can separate, and his power none can resist. None can resist his power <clears throat> and his unchangeable. So I, 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 I do believe in, in my, the unchangeableness. It says those chosen in Christ Jesus from before the foundation of this world and then we worship a God who Titus says cannot lie. And then we look to the to a God who is unchangeable. Malachi three six it tells us <clears throat> therefore the sons of Jacob are not consumed because of his unchangeableness. And you know you go over to <clears throat> you go to Ephesians. In that first chapter. And there's so many. Of the us's. And the we's. In this. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who hath. And that's past tense. Blessed us. Who is that us? Those chosen in him. With what? With all spiritual blessings, whereat in heavenly places in Christ, according as He, who is that He, the Father, hath chosen us, who is that us, that election of grace, in Him, the Son, before, when, and it tells you exactly when, before the foundation of the world, why, that we, that same we is the same us, should be holy and without blame before him in love, and that love is our Lord and our Savior. He is love. Having predestinated us <clears throat> unto the adoption of children. How? By Jesus Christ to himself. And this right here, this, this last part, of verse 5, according to what? According to the good pleasure of his will. <clears throat> to the praise of the glory of his grace, you will not find in this written word <clears throat> the works of man. And, and when you read down through here, according as he hath chosen us in him, having predestinated us to the praise of the glory of his grace, the amazing grace of an all almighty God, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption, and then it tells you how, through his blood, and that's what Peter talks about over here <clears throat> in First Peter, and he tells you <clears throat> he tells you of the precious blood. <clears throat> For as much as you know, you have been shown how by spiritual discernment. That's the only way. For as you know that you were not redeemed with corrupt, corruptible things as silver and gold, then it tells you from your vein, your empty conversation, by what? By tradition of your fathers. And you go back to Hebrews 8. We head on the two uh, on the two covenants Sunday, but with and what did it tell you over here? In whom we have redemption through His blood, and that is the only way is through His blood, it, which is the forgiveness of, of sins according to the riches of His grace. And then He tells you over, over here, but with the precious blood of uh, uh, of Christ. 
as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. And that thief said it. He said, we get our just rewards. The total inability of this dust. <clears throat> this man here has done nothing amiss. Remember me. But with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb, without blemish and without spot, who was, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you. And you go over here to Acts 2.23. I know these verses are well known to you, but that's okay. Acts 2 and 23, Him, who is that Him? That's who we were just speaking of, our Lord and our Savior. <clears throat> As a lamb without blemish and without spot, who verily was foreordained before the foundation uh, of the world, but was manifest in these last times for, for you. And you go to Acts 2 and 23. Him, who is him, that's him, being delivered by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of God, ye have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain. And you go to Acts 4 and verse 28. <clears throat> For of a truth... <clears throat> For to do what I read, verse 26, 4 and 26, the kings of the earth stood up and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against our Christ. For of a truth against thy holy child Jesus, whom thou hast anointed, both Herod, Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel, were gathered together to do what? They were gathered. Well, how? By the determinate counsel and the foreknowledge of God. And this, <coughs> For to do whatsoever thy hand and thy counsel determined before to be done. Right, right over here, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you. <clears throat> Back to Ephesians 1. To the praise of the glory of His grace, in whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of His grace wherein he hath abounded toward us. And if you read all those us's and the we's, it is pointing to the elect, those chosen in him. That's who it is pointing to. Having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he hath purposed in himself and you can walk right on down through that and you go back back to Romans 9 <clears throat> I'm going to hush where is it at here <clears throat> as it is written for the children I'm, I, I want to read that again for the children being not yet born neither having done any good or any evil that the purpose of God according to election might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. <clears throat> the two covenants, not of works, but of him that calleth. Not of works, but of him that calleth. It was said unto her, the elder shall, the elder shall serve the rent younger, as it is written, Jacob have I loved. But Esau, but Esau have I hated. And then it goes on down through here. What, what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. For he saith, for he saith 
to Moses, and that's over in Exodus 33rd chapter. I, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then, it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, not of works, but of him that calleth, back here in verse 11. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of God that showeth mercy, not works, but grace. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose, what purpose? He just told you what, what, what the purpose is. Have I raised thee up that I might show my power in thee and that my name might be declared throughout all of the earth? Therefore, hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy and whom he will he hardeneth, not of works, but of him that calleth, chosen in Christ Jesus from before the foundation of this world. Therefore, in verse 19, we, thou wilt say then unto me, this is what dust carnal man will say every single time. It is not fair. Therefore, thou Thou wilt say then unto me, Why doth he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? He says, But no, nay, who, O man, who art thou that repliest against God? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why, why hast thou, why hast thou made me thus? Hath not the potter who is the potter? Our Lord and Savior. He is the potter. <clears throat> Over the clay, it's so important, this same lump, that is so important. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, none righteous, no, not one to point out his amazing grace and his amazing glory. <clears throat> One vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor. <clears throat> Our, <clears throat> there's so much more that, that could be said. I've had a lection on, on, on my mind. <clears throat> and... Uh, there, there are just a myriad of verses that, that, that can be brought forth to, to this beautiful doctrine. And uh, if nothing else, the doctrines, uh, the doctrines of our Lord and Savior that He shows to a little cheap, <coughs> a little child of God. The one, the doctrine of the absoluteness of the predestination of all things brings comfort <clears throat> to a little child of God, as does election and vital union, to the point <clears throat> that it, it, it is to his praise and it is to his glory showing how amazing His mercy is to those <clears throat> we get our just rewards, but this man has done nothing amiss.